people might have them on their wheel wells, uh, on their wheels. This is a pest that's at our doorstep. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency is renewing a warning to travelers to the U.S. that the spotted lanternfly is not in the country, and we want to keep it that way. The invasive insect has been regulated since 2018 by the CFIA, which says it can feed on more than 100 species of trees and plants and poses a significant threat to a number of agricultural sectors, including fruit and grapes. That's especially concerning as the spotted lanternfly has been found right across the border from Niagara in Buffalo, New York. You know, it is a plant hopper, uh, so it moves on things like woody nursery stock and logs, but it's also an excellent hitchhiker and can move on cars, campers, camping equipment. Is this a matter of we can actually contain it or is it a matter of buying some time to prepare for when it inevitably arrives? You know, we're we're looking at this as a, a when it arrives, not an if it arrives, um, because it's such a good hitchhiker and it and does on move moving on so many different things. Um, so we are trying to slow the introduction and buy time to allow some things to catch up, allow some of the science to catch up, um, have some more resp response and treatment options available for when it arrives in Canada. Um, we do have some treatments now available. Can you kind of give us almost a backtrack of where this bug comes from? Yeah, so it's native to China and other parts of, of Asia. Uh, and then in 2014, it was introduced into Pennsylvania and then in the United States. They don't really care where they lay their eggs. Uh, they'll lay them on any surface. Meanwhile, David Dukevich is an entomology technician with the Invasive Species Center. He says it's the way the insect eats that's also a part of the problem. These ones essentially have a little straw that they uh, use to uh, suck up nutrients from the plant. So they essentially deplete uh, a plant's resource by uh, drinking the sap. But they've seen the most damage in the United States is on grapes uh, and on wine production. You, you had kind of mentioned buffalo, which obviously, uh, you know, the growers in Niagara would be concerned about. Pontiac, Michigan, uh, is that something that growers in Essex County might be concerned about? Absolutely, yeah. For those of us traveling back from infested areas of the U.S., we're being asked to check cars, campers, trailers, or RVs, along with any camping gear or equipment before making the return trip. If you're already back in the country and you think you've spotted the pest or its eggs, you're asked to take a photo or video, catch it, or scrape the egg masses and put them into a sealable container and report it to the CFIA. For City News, I'm David Zura.